I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it a back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play It's been wetter than the harbor, yeah I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock and Welcome back everyone to another edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Jan Lutis and I've got a message today that I think a lot of people might be able to relate to. A more fun type message that you probably lived by when you were a kid, but as you got older, you might have forgotten all about it. Today's message guys, did you forget? Because I sure did. Until something brought that message back in an incredible way for me. You see, I'm wearing this shirt for a reason. Hakuna Matata. It's a wonderful phrase. Back when I was little, The Lion King was one of my favorite movies. Timon, Pumbaa, Simba, Mufasa, Rafiki. <laughs> you couldn't beat it. It was a classic. But I hadn't watched that movie in forever. And a while back, something happened to me. Something hilarious happened to me. And it's probably why this is today's message. You see, a while back, I was just having one of those days. One of those days where this was just running everywhere. We've all had them. Where you're stressed out and you're just thinking about everything and your mind's just running in every single direction possible. And until you're able to control it, it's just so annoying. Because in those times where your mind is going everywhere, your entire body language changes. It becomes obvious to everyone around you that you are stressed out. <laughs> and if you're someone who doesn't believe that, I suggest you ask any of your closest friends and ask them if they can tell when you're stressed out. And chances are, they will tell you how they know when that is. <laughs> but, back to that day. So this was a while back, and I was stressed out just thinking about a million things. And I just wanted to get away. So I figured, I'll grab the basketball and go get a few shots up. That always helps. So I get to the court, and there's a bunch of kids playing on one of the courts, and then there's an open hoop. So I'm shooting on the open hoop, and just trying to get my mind off all the stress. About 20 minutes goes by, and I take a little break. I go sit on the bench, and I could just feel my mind start to go back to all of those stressors. And I start to get annoyed by it. Luckily now, I can control where my mind goes and keep it focused on the right things. But that day? No far from it. So I'm sitting there just upset. I guess it was pretty obvious. Remember, I said people around you can tell when you're stressed out. See, I put my head down for a few minutes and I just started to think. And then something broke the pattern. <laughs> I heard, hey! And I picked my head up and one of the kids from the other side of the court was standing right there. And I'm thrown off a bit. So I said, Hey, bud, what's going on? And he looks at me and asks, What's wrong? Now, this kid's going to be about eight years old. But, you know, I say the typical response everyone says when something is actually wrong. I tell him, Nah, nothing's wrong. <laughs> and he looks at me again with a real intense look and says, Something's wrong. So I'm like, Bud, everything's fine. I'm arguing with an eight-year-old. But the kid starts to walk back to the other kids. And he turns around and says, Hey, Hakuna Matata. And it caught me by surprise. And I cracked a smile. And said Hakuna Matata back to the kid. And he went off and left with his friends. Then I sat there on the bench. And honestly, I could not stop laughing. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. That was a piece of my childhood I loved and I haven't even thought about for a while. And this kid just on the fly says it to me. <laughs> it took all the worries away. My entire state changed. And that got me thinking. What else have I forgotten about that I grew up on and don't even acknowledge anymore? What other movies and sayings did I live by when I was little but don't even think about when in actuality they still connect even when I'm older? So I went back and I took a look. 
And I think it's pretty obvious that there are the classics out there for all of us, right? The movies that are timeless. The movies you could rewatch no matter how old you are because something about them stuck with you. Whether it was a movie from when you were little or a movie you saw yesterday, certain movies connect to us and leave an imprint that makes us want to keep going back to them. You take away something from them that you can take anywhere with you. But do you actually use what you take away from those movies you connect to when you're older? The Lion King was the first movie I went to because it was my favorite as a kid. And yes, there's Hakuna Matata, which everyone loves, but there's an even better message in that movie, right? Rafiki. When he's talking to Simba about the past, and he says, oh yes, the past can hurt, but the way I see it is, you can either run from it, or you can learn from it. Now when you're a kid and watching that movie, you don't connect to that quote that much. You don't have much experience to base it off of. <laughs> but the parent you watched that movie with when you were a kid was probably sitting there and saying, wow, Rafiki just threw some wisdom out there. Because he's telling you, hey, tough times come to all of us, but they aren't meant to keep you down. You were meant to learn from them and keep moving forward. Now that you're older, you can see that Rafiki was 100% right. Something you grew up on connects even more to you now that you're older. But that's an easy one, right? The next one I took a look at, I had to go way back. I had to go way back to the 100 acre forest. My mom raised my brother and I on Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I'm sure many people can relate to that. <laughs> but like the Lion King, I wanted to see if there was anything that stuck with me, but I haven't thought about in a long time, or I even forgot. And, you know, there were a couple, but there's one specific scene that I completely forgot about. But in watching it again, <laughs> I feel like my mom must have sat me in front of that TV so many times until something stuck, even if it was in my unconscious. <laughs> because Christopher Robin is talking to Pooh, and he wants to explain to him that there's going to be a time where they aren't together anymore and are on their own. And Pooh is very scared about this. He starts to doubt himself. And he says that he isn't strong enough, brave enough, or smart enough to be on his own. And he keeps talking about everything he feels he isn't. But then Christopher Robin comes in with the message that was meant to stick with every single viewer. He says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Looking back at it, it's pretty clear the message was there. That you can't limit yourself. You can't let fear limit you. You can't doubt yourself. You literally are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And you start to see it when you push yourself just a little bit more. I know you're probably asking, well, Bill, what's your point? Yes, every old movie has its moment or its message that hits you or is supposed to stick with you. But the point is, do you actually take that message and use it as you get older? Or do you just watch it, turn it off, and go about your day? Most people were raised or are raised on movies that can adapt to so many aspects of life. Hence why I just went over the Disney movies. Because you're showing them as a kid. But then as you get older, you start to forget all about the moments and messages that you were raised on. Because life happens. Life gets tougher. Life starts to get a little bit more complicated. And with all those complications, it's as if people start to grow a hard shell. People grow layers. Layers that pile up as you go through life. Whether it's pain or a negative experience in some way, we all try to add a layer so it doesn't happen to us again or it doesn't affect us again. And we run from whatever it was. And no one would fault you for doing that because it's become the norm. But there's a key fact I learned and have really tried to make a focal point with anything I'm going through. And that is this. That's not about what happens to you in this life, but how you respond to it that makes the difference. It's not about what happens to you, but how you respond to it that makes the difference. And how that connects to everything I just went over is that those Disney movies you were raised on were directing you in how to respond to the things all along. As a kid, you may not have grasped it, but as you grow older, 
you can see how they connect to a lot of things you've gone through. In a video I did a few months ago titled Storytime, I go over how you need to pick the pen back up after a tough chapter in your life and keep writing your story because you're the author in your own book. But that doesn't mean you can't go back and look at a few chapters you've been through. The good chapters can still be reread. You can't forget the good times because they can still help you when you least expect it. Just like the kid I mentioned earlier who said Hakuna Matata to me. He brought back a good chapter that helped me out that day. You can't forget about what those messages you were raised on were saying. Because chances are, they can still help you today. It doesn't matter your age. You can go back and take a look and see that there was a lot more truth to go off of than just what you heard when you were little. Don't forget about that. And go take a look at what you might have missed. Until next week, guys.